How to delete programs, delete hidden files, and get more space on a Mac computer or Apple computer. I will show how to delete files on your jump drive or flash drive. I will show how to access the trash folder on a jump drive, a flash drive, or an external hard drive. I will show how to create an alias folder or an alias file. An alias folder or an alias file can help you save hard drive space while at the same time allowing quick access to everything in the folder, or immediate access to the file. I will show how to delete programs and delete hidden files. Moving a program from the application window to the trash does not always delete the whole program. Plus, some programs create additional files that are impossible to find. If your Mac computer or Apple computer's internal hard drive space drops below 10 GB will prevent some applications from working. Last, I will talk a little about the Apple Store. The Apple Store is your friend. The Apple Store has a lot of programs. And some of the free applications or programs are good. However, some of the applications or programs that cost money, might not be good. Deleting files on your jump drive or flash drive. Yes, emptying the trash will or should delete all the files on the jump drive or flash drive. However, this only works if the jump drive or flash drive is connected to the computer. On a jump drive or flash drive, if you want to get a file out of the trash or just delete just one file on a jump drive or flash drive, then you have to access the trash folder. The trash folder on a jump drive or flash drive is a hidden folder. Now, click on or open the jump drive or flash drive. To access or show the trash folder or any hidden folder, hold down shift, command, and the period keys at the same time. Now, find the trash folder and open it. Next, right mouse click on the item you want to delete. This will open a menu. Next, click on the third control called Delete Immediately. This will permanently delete the item and free up space on the jump or flash drive. Do not forget to close the hidden folders when you are done. To close all the hidden folders when you are done, hold down Shift, Command, and the period keys at the same time. This not only closes the hidden folders, but it also protects the hidden folders. This also stops or prevents you from making any hidden folder, or the trash folder an alias folder. Alias folders and files An alias folder is a shortcut to the folder. It can help you save hard drive space while at the same time allowing you quick access to this folder. For example, as you see, here I have an external hard drive connected to my Mac computer or Apple computer. When I open this hard drive, you can see I have a lot of folders and files on this hard drive. I can make an alias from any folder or any file. I first select a folder and then right mouse click to open a menu. Then I scroll down to the seventh control, which is called Make Alias. As you can see, the alias of the folder or file has been created within the hard drive. I now can move this alias to any location. I can put this alias on the desktop or in any folder. As you can see, when I open the alias folder, will show me and give me access to all the stuff in the actual or real folder. Even if I rename the alias folder, will not change the connection to the actual or real folder. Each alias folder should have a different name, or it will confuse the computer. Now, I will go back to the hard drive and delete the alias folder that was created. This will not have any effect on the alias folder I put on the internal hard drive. It just allows me to keep everything more organized.
What I just showed also works with files, and any external hard drive. If you want to know how to work with files and folders on a Mac computer or Apple computer, then click on the little white circle at the top. It will take you to my video called How to Work with Files and Folders on a Mac Computer or Apple Computer. And please click the YouTube like icon so that YouTube will show this video to more people. Deleting programs and deleting hidden files. Moving a program from the application window to trash does not always delete the whole program. Some programs create additional files that are impossible to find. If your Mac computer or Apple computer's internal hard drive space drops below 10 GB will prevent some applications from working. My Mac computer or Apple computer stopped working correctly because the internal hard drive space was below 10 GB. I went to a major retailer, and they wanted to charge me over $200. The retailer would back up the data, but I would still have to reinstall all the programs myself. A great resource is the Apple Store. The Apple Store has a lot of programs, and some are very good and are free. Some you have to pay and are not good at all. Thus, first read the reviews before you use any of them. I used a free application called Cleaner One, and within 10 minutes, it gave me back over 80 gigabytes of internal hard drive space. Plus, I did not have to reinstall any programs or back up any data. Free is a lot better than paying $200. Cleaner One is easy to use. All you do is click scan, and it will scan your whole computer. After the scan, click Junk, and then click the files you want to delete. To fully delete an application or program, you must have Cleaner One open and running. Then all you do is go into the application folder and send the application to the trash. Next, wait a few minutes. Cleaner One will ask if you want to fully delete all parts of the program. For the old programs you attempted to delete before using Cleaner One, reinstall the program and follow the instructions I just mentioned. Cleaner One should now be able to delete all parts of the program or application. The Apple Store The Apple Store has a lot of programs, and some are very good and are free. Some you have to pay and are not good at all. You can search for programs or applications by name, by type, and by category. I got more than two free programs or applications from the Apple Store, but here are the two I use the most. One of the free applications is a cooking timer. The cooking timer is easy to use and has saved many a meal. The other free application is a multi-clipboard. The multi-clipboard application is called Copy Clip. This application will copy over 20 items that you can use over and over again. 
I use this application to copy multiple texts. Please click like, leave a comment, or subscribe. Thank you.